So the longer I've been a wedding filmmaker and the more people that I get to know and the more films that I watch and the more businesses that I observe and I get to know the people behind them, I have learned this valuable lesson. It is more important to stand out than it is to be really good at what you do. Hello and welcome to the How to Film Weddings YouTube channel. My name is Nick Miller and today I wanna to talk about standing out on your social media platform, whether it's Instagram Reels or TikTok, and how standing out is way more important than having the best quality of work. Now, don't get me wrong. You should strive to have the best films that you can have, using the best equipment that you can afford, editing as best as you can, doing sound design and mixing and all of that stuff to create incredible films. But whenever it comes to being noticed by potential buyers, uh, couples that want to hire you, standing out and being memorable is way more important than having the best work. Now that TikTok is here to stay and Reels are here to stay and both of these platforms are massive and just pushing this specific type of content, I think that we as filmmakers should adapt to ways that we can be a little bit different in how we offer our content. I know for the past year and a half, two years, however long I've been uploading to both Instagram Reels and TikTok, I got stuck in uploading videos that were great moments from the wedding day first look, whether it be an intimate one or down the aisle, a, a, a funny uh, moment from the day, something that's just obscure and different than other weddings, toasts, that sort of stuff. But just using that footage itself, making it fit that nine by 16 dimension and saying, this is what I'm going to do. And for the longest time that has worked, but I have seen some trends that wedding filmmakers have adopted for TikTok and Reels, and I am really, really liking them. A couple of people that I follow, Good Coast Studios and Hunter Floyd Films, have started doing stuff like stacking five video clips in a reel or three clips or doing kind of a picture in picture idea. Whenever I saw this kind of content, I wanted to adopt it for myself. So I went into Adobe Premiere Pro and created a template so that I could do the five stack, the three stack, and the picture in picture templates that I talked about just a second ago. One of the visions that John and I have for how to film weddings is to elevate the wedding film industry. And so we have created both a Premiere Pro template and a Final Cut template that you can download for yourself. All you need to do is click on this link up here in the corner or check out the description below, go to our website and you can download these project files for free. Are you subscribed to the How to Film Weddings YouTube channel? If not, you can do so right down here. After you get a chance to download these project files, you're gonna need to know how to use them. So the rest of this video is going to be a little walkthrough tutorial about how I set up these types of edits in Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, I don't edit in Final Cut, so I don't know how much this is going to transfer over, but you're gonna get the idea. Whenever you open this project file in Adobe Premiere Pro, you are gonna notice that there are four different timelines. You have the five stack, the three stack, the one that is called middle, and then the one that is called blank. All of these sequences are set up in a nine by 16 ratio, which is perfect for TikTok or Instagram Reels. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to use this template. As you can see, everything is color coordinated. So if you're looking on, so if you're looking at the top there, you can see that the rose color is the red, yellow is yellow, I'm just turning these on and off, the green is green, Blue is blue, pink is pink, you get it. These are all nested sequences. So all you need to do is double click on your sequence, okay? And then drop in your footage, which I have already done that. So here is some footage from the day. Now I go back and you just add in all of your footage. Again, I have already done this into these. So you just open up the sequence, drop in your footage, and you are good to go. Now you're gonna need to size it accordingly to how you want it so that it fits the full uh, area. And then there you have it. Now, another thing that you can do in this top layer, I have what is uh, text or logo. So you can go in, write your text, uh, our wedding. Uh, if you have a logo that you would like to drop in there, you can put that in this spot as well. Just make sure you hide that layer and then you are good to go. If you don't want the text, just turn this layer off. All right. The three stack is exactly the same, except it is three layers instead of five. 
So I have already put this footage in and you can see how that looks with all three of them on screen. All right. So the other one, the next one is what I'm calling the middle. And this is a picture in picture uh, idea. So uh, how this one is set up is these top two layers are the same thing, just doubled. So I'm gonna back this up a little bit so that you can see it's the exact same thing. Um, one is just at a four by five ratio, which is the top one. And then the bottom one is at that nine by 16 ratio. Couple of things to note about this. One, on the, on the background layer, there is set up a blur. So if you want the background image to be blurry, just turn that on or turn that off. All right, and the other thing on the top layer, you will notice uh, there is both a drop shadow that is added that you can turn on or turn off, or a white border around your uh, video. So uh, just use your creativity and however you would like to do that. The other thing that I have added to the middle layer, I'm gonna turn this off, is another nine by 16 oriented video uh, that is something different, not tied to the top one. All right, so this one is a drone shot. Now, uh, one of the things that I have messed around and played around with doing a little bit is changing the dimensions of this. Let's put it at say, let's say 65, and then I wanna move it down and to the right just a little bit, and I'm gonna turn off the blur on this one. So now uh, you have this nice drone shot behind with a dress shot in the front, okay? Take this, play with it, do whatever you would like. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is what I am calling the blank layer. And this one, uh, you have the ability to make whatever you want. So just copy and paste some stuff from these other timelines and put them into the blank one. So I'm gonna click on the middle and then click this background drone layer. I'm gonna copy that and paste that in. So now that is my background. The next thing I want to do is take uh, one of these five stack layers and I'm gonna do this, um, this top one and I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to paste that on. So now I have this image up here and I don't want it up there at the top. So I'm just going to, let's say, put it down there. All right, so now we have two things and then I'm gonna go back to this middle layer. I'm just gonna grab this dress shot and I'm going to, whoops, I am going to slap that on the top here, uh, move it up, maybe move it over. And there we go. Now I have created my own template based on these other templates. Again, I wanna remind you that you can download these project files right here, right now. You can click up here in the corner or there's a link down in the description. Are you finding this type of content helpful? Let us know by giving us a thumbs up. Again, one of the things that is so important in owning a business is standing out, being sticky, being a little bit different. So I hope that you will take these Instagram or TikTok templates and just run with it. Do some creative edits, have fun. How can you mix and mash these things together? How can you manipulate them? What can you do? How can you incorporate these things with maybe a full film? After you have the opportunity to create some reels, make sure you tag us on Instagram at How to Film Weddings so that we can see what you are able to create with these templates. I wanted to let you know that as of releasing this video here in just a couple of short weeks, we are going to be opening enrollment for our complete wedding videography course. If you are interested in that course, go ahead and click on this link right over here and jump on the wait list. You can get a free section, we have a behind the scenes video, and also a digital template for free that you can download and use today. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's video and until next time, we will see ya.